In today's lesson, you will be having a, re a reading exam from your max book, page 6. I will read Study Abroad, a Dirasif al Kharij, and you will listen to my pronunciation, you will listen to my punctuation, you will listen to my grammar, and most important, you will try to understand what we are reading. Um, read as much as you can uh, within the four minutes and return back to me in private. Yani, um, I need you to read what study abroad and return it back to me in private. Read as much as you can within four minutes. Yani, don't exceed. in four minutes. So how how much or however you read, please at four minutes end it and send it to me in private, along with your um, along with the questions that follow um, this article on page seven. Yani, you're going to read it. And send it to me before the end of the day. Um, let me start reading. So, we are reading about study abroad, which is Al-Dirasa fil Kharij. Mr. Guan is a successful architect in Shanghai. And if he does your small Mr. Guan, who is uh, Mohandas Ma'amari Najah, um, second fi Shanghai city fi China, who came back to China after studying abroad in the U.S. Rija uh, ila China baad makhalas dirasto fi America. His success is an example of those hegwa, uh, hegwa yani nickname, oh, um, um, you know, ism, um, ism uh, uh, for the Chinese students and scholars returned from overseas. Yani hum ma'atuhum ism mukhtasar lal tulab al ulama illi rijo with encouragement of the government policy, government policy, yani al siyas al hukuma, more young people are leaving China to study abroad. Yani ktir min al shabat wa shabab ili am budrasu am bi am bitla min China ashan yudrasu bil kharij. These hegwa brought back an advanced. Um, is any advanced technology? Yani um, technology il il mutakadma. Yani the advanced technology and management that China needed badly in its economic takeoff. And in the meantime, they succeeded in their career development in China. Study abroad spurred. Is any spurred spurred? Yani dafa. يعني دفعوا للأعلى Study abroad spurred economic development but at that same time also brought in problems such as the western ideas and cultural that flooded into China إيش يعني flooded يعني المشاكل اللي غمرت اللي دخلت في China How does study abroad impact China's modernization Modernization. How does study abroad impact China's modernization? Yani, um, كيف ال دراسة بالخارج كان إلها كان إلها دفع إلى التحديث modern modern يعني تحديد إشي new. There are more and more Chinese students studying abroad now. يعني هلا في أكثر وأكثر طلاب Chinese عم بدرسوا بالخارج. Some of them are still studying in foreign countries. بعض منهم لساتهم بالخارج عم بدرسوا. Some have returned to China after studying abroad. وفي منهم رجعوا إلى تشاينا بعد ما خلصوا دراستهم. While still others have stayed in the foreign countries after completing their studies. وبعض منهم ضلوا بالخارج بعد ما در بعد ما خلصوا دراستهم وماي عم بيشتغلوا هناك أو بدهم يعيشوا هناك. How does study abroad affect China's raising? Let's review some historical background. إيش يعني China's raising? China's raising يعني الارتفاع بالصين الارتفاع التأثير بالصين. Let's review some historical background. Historical background, yani khalfiya il tarikhiya. Historical background, background, yani khalfiya, historical, yani tarikhiya. China was the most powerful country in the world in ancient times. Yani is seen kanat min min azam dawlat fil dunya in ancient times fil fil asri al kadim, fil asri al kadim. 
China was forced to open its doors by the Western powers after the Opium War in 1840. In modern history, China was defeated by the gunboats and modern technology of the West. إيش يعني the West? يعني ال um, the Western. I don't know in Arabic. The West. Have I'll look it up. Intellectuals realized that the lack of modern technology and democracy caused China's weakening. إيش يعني intellectuals? Intellectuals يعني المتقفين. Um, intellectuals realized that the lack of modern technology and democracy caused China's weakening. In the May 4th movement, they called for learning modern science and technology from foreign countries. Before the founding of the People's Republic of China, there were already a lot of Chinese going abroad for further education in order to bring home knowledge that could help build stronger country. Yani, um, the Chinese... Um, اختاروا إنه يروحوا يدرسوا بالخارج عشان ي... يصير عندهم um, علم أعلى وعشان يجيبوا إلى تشاينا um, you know, ثقافة عالية كتير ويحسنوا في البلد تبعهم After the establishment يعني establishment يعني المؤسسة of the new China in 1949 the Chinese government decided to send students and scholars to the former Soviet Union. What does Soviet Union mean? يعني الاتحاد السوفيتي. And other socialist countries to study advanced science, technology, and management skills. But in the 1960s and 70s, study abroad became static. إيش يعني static? يعني ثابت. Became static due to the political atmosphere in China and the Cultural Revolution. إيش يعني Cultural Revolution يعني الثورات الثقافيات. Since the reform and opening up in 1978, work related to students and scholars studying abroad has been rapid development. يعني من حد ما فتحوا in 1978. الشغل للطلاب والعلماء you know ارتفع كتير وصار في عندهم development يعني صار في عندهم كتير موهبات وتكنولوجي وadvanced science and technology China sent the first group of scholars to study in the U.S. after the cultural revolution in 1978 in harmony with socio-economic development, هلا, what is um, harmony? يعني انسجام. With socio-economic development, what does socio-economic development mean? يعني الاجتماع الاقتصادي. A management, what does management mean? Management means الإدارة. A management and implementation. In implementation. إيش يعني implementation? يعني التنفيذ. El Tenfid system related to students and scholars studying abroad has been set up in higher education institutions. Uh, what does institutions mean? Yani um, mahad um, as well as in science and technology research institutions from the national to local levels. This system mainly consists of three complementary, يعني complementary, يعني uh, مكمل, channels for students and scholars. يعني um, uh, هاي الدراسة العالية كملت إلى الطلاب والعلماء, namely state-funded, والحكومة هي دفعت لهم الدراسة, employer-funded fu- employer and self-funded. يعني في منهم أخذوا um, um, scholar من state, من الحكومة, في منهم من الشغل وفي منهم من حالهم دفعوا إلى دراستهم الأعلى. According to the Ministry of Education of PRC, from 1978 to 2003, a total number of 700,200 Chinese students and scholars studied in 108 countries 
and regions all over the world, covering almost all disciplines. What does disciplines mean? Yani in the bot. Both the quality, the uh, I'm sorry, both the quantity and scale was unprecedented. Unprecedented. Ish yani unprecedented. Yani read must book. In the history of China. During the same period, remember to stop when there is a comma, a total of 172,800 returned. Hadore Tulabir As for 527,400 who had not returned, 527,000 Madajra, China, and 356,600 were still studying. We had the number, the Satoman Bidrusu. Doing research or visiting a scholar in foreign higher education institution. In 2003, the total number of students and scholars studying abroad was 117,300, among which 3,002 people were state funded, 5,144 were employee funded. And 109,200 were self funded. Hakena ish state funded yanim hukume, employer funded yanim shugal, and self funded huma min hal hum darasu dafa'u ila drasit hum. In the same year, a total number of 20,100 students and scholars returned from overseas studying, among which 2,638 were state funded. 4,292 employer-funded and 13,200 self-funded. Yani fi min hum akhadu funds min al-hukuma, fi min hum min al-shugar, u fi min hum taru yidfa'u min hal hum. In the past, U.S. attracted a large portion of the total number of Chinese students studying abroad. But statistics, statistics, show yani ايش يعني statistics statistics show يعني ال um ال إحصاء ال إحصاء but statistics show that the Chinese students have increased dr dr uh, drastically just I'm sorry students have increased in countries like Britain, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the Netherlands, Singapore. Germany, and France in recent years. Statistics show that young people studying abroad under the age of 22 have increased at an annual rate of 40% over the past three years. Ish yani annual, annual yani sanawi. Okay, so um, I tarjim it as much as I could, whatever I could in Arabic. Um, please um, translate whatever else you don't understand from yourself. Um, I hope you understand this reading, studying abroad, that is for about um, China. I hope you listen carefully to my pronunciation, my uh, punctuation. Yani, keep pronunciation, lafaz, punctuation, full stop comma, question mark, exclamation mark, the grammar, and understood as much as you could what we are reading. Um, like I said, uh, please read what you can within the four minutes. Yani, um, the four minutes, stop. Um, read, you can read slowly, um, and then return it back to me in private, along with um, the questions on page seven in your Max book. And uh, make sure you write the um, vocabulary words that are on the right also in your um, vocabulary section in your notebook. And um, that's it for today's lesson. Have a great day.